So, do you know what today is? No, it's not our anniversary. However, it's December 1st. And that means it's the first day. No, it's not December 1st. It's December 2nd, which is the first Monday of the last month of the year. The first, kind of look at it as the first official working day of the last month of the year. And I know some people look at the holiday time to put it in second or third year and take it slow and just sit back and relax. But if you think about it, now's the time when you can get ahead because most of your competition is just going in chill mode, like putting the brakes on gradually so that they can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. But what you can do is prepare. Prepare for 2020, the next year, the next month, whatever your goal is. Now, you can do that with these three tips. Number one, what you can do is plan for January. Like, you know, a lot of people may not be in the office or be doing doing a lot of things because they're going in that chill mode for the holidays or going on vacation or holiday or things of that nature. So make your January calendar full by planning and having those conversations today because most people will be like, oh yeah, I'll talk to you in the new year. And they'll be more inclined to agree to do that now opposed to January where they're like trying to hit the ground running to get back into gear and we get back into mode and hit basically like they're trying to sprint to get things done so that's one thing two what you need to do is some personal development sow seeds into yourself okay because you can learn a new skill complete a task or take a training or just do something for a skill that you want to improve or just something that new that you want to learn. Take the time now to do that. And three, sow seeds. Now, I just mentioned sowing seeds in yourself, but sow seeds in others to show appreciation. Make deposits. That's the term I want to say. Now, am I talking about financial deposits? No, not at all. It's ways to show your appreciation. It could be by sending a card. Um, with a you know a gift card, which is a financial, but it doesn't have to be financial. It could be inviting to a holiday event that you are going to have or already attend or having an appreciation event or just sending a quick note, just saying how you appreciate your customer, especially your VIPs. You definitely want to do that to keep that line of communication open. So you have three tips to make December count. I know you want to just put it in in park and just chill out, but do something now and consistently every day, every day, so that you can start 2020 even better than you ever have started a prior new year, okay? All right. I wish you all peace and blessings to you and yours. And I look forward to hearing the great things that you accomplished this month, next year, and continue to accomplish.